quite a bit of iron around this patch now. We're on the site of the fallen down building. I can see clay pipe stems, I can see tile. And the machine's really started to talk to me. I'm getting a lot of feedback, which is good. And there's a good signal. Nice and repeatable, that's what we like to see. Before the, I dig this target up, I just want to talk you through a feature called the silencer. Let me just show you and demonstrate what the silencer does. Okay, first of all we go into the menu. Reactivity. Now at the bottom of the reactivity you'll see the expert screen. Hit the expert screen. And you'll see I'm using silencer minus one. Now, we've got a good signal there, but look what happens when I turn it up to silencer plus four. And listen to the difference in the signal. It's broken it up. It's hardly there. Now we're going to go back to minus one. And now listen. Now, what the silencer does, it's like an iron filter. If you can imagine it, it's like a door. With the door fully closed, it'll be on the silencer four. And it will only let pure signals through the door into the audio circuit. Anything which isn't a pure signal will get put into the discrimination circuit. Reject. As we lower the silencer, three, two, one, and minus one, for example, minus one, the door is fully open, and this is gonna let more suspicious signals through to the audio circuit. That's why we're hearing that target on minus one, but we're not hearing it at four. It's quite possibly because it's next to a piece of iron. So the silencer on minus one will allow you to detect targets much closer to iron and it speeds the machine up too. The silencer works in harmony with the reactivity, so try and adjust them to suit your sights. Now, the drawback of having a low silencer is you will get a certain amount of what we call signal bleed. So you get the two tones, the iron tone and the high tone bleeding through because the machine is not rejecting them as it would do on higher levels. It's letting more through. So just bear that in mind, have a play around. The Day is Fast uses a silencer of minus one. Other programs use a silencer of around two. So if you want a peaceful life and you're just out coin shooting, by all means, use a higher silencer. But if you want to work in amongst the iron, you've got to be prepared to lower the silencer and dig a few more suspicious targets. This is a short experiment to show how the silencer and reactivity work in harmony together. We've got two targets. We've got a small hammered coin and a nail. I'm going to show you the difference the silencer makes compared to the reactivity. So let's have a go over the targets and see what sort of response we get. So two targets, a nail and a hammered coin, reactivity zero, silencer naught. Fantastic, it picks that up at reactivity naught. We're gonna leave the reactivity at zero and we're gonna start raising the silencer. Minus one. Zero. One. We can hear the targets disappearing. Two. Three. Four. So as you can see, the silencer makes a really big difference when it comes to finding targets next to or around iron. Lower levels let more suspicious targets through, hence speed the machine up. Higher levels tend to let pure targets through. So bear that in mind when you're working in between the iron. The silencer works in harmony with the reactivity. So now we're gonna leave the silencer on minus one and we're gonna work the reactivity. So we're starting off with a silencer of minus one and a reactivity of zero.
we're going to take the reactivity up one notch to one. Two. Three. Four. It's getting much cleaner now. Five. So when you're in the field, try to balance the reactivity with silencer to get the best results. The lower numbers, minus one, nor and one, I'd use that if I was working amongst the iron and I really wanted to find everything I could. I'd use higher levels for coin shooting or if the iron contamination was just too overwhelming, then I'd turn the silencer up to cut out a lot of background noise. So just to try and find the best option for you on the day. When you're using the dais in tone ID, you'll get the low tone, which we all assume is the iron. Now quite often you'll get a blending of the tone, ferrous and non-ferrous, high and low tones. Now sometimes if a target's deep and it's got the iron tone with it, have a go at it. It could be a sign of something deep and the, the ground is just consuming the target and this is what the low tone is. Now you can eliminate this low tone, the target bleeding if you like to call it, by using the silencer. Low silencer levels, minus one, there's more blendability between targets. You're getting more information. But as you raise the silencer up, it tends to make the targets more black and white, which is ideal for people new to the dais. You either get the target or you don't with the silencer up on higher levels. So just bear that in mind when you're searching the field and you're getting a lot of iron tone. The silencer is a filter that filters the iron. So just try and set it to how you feel comfortable.